Caspa will go to a dollar, and I'm explaining to you exactly why in this video. We're going to cover some important metrics and statistics. We're going to take a look at a chart. We're going to take a look at some trading st uh, strategies that allow you to accumulate more Caspa uh, with high upside, with very, very low risk, essentially all automated. I'm going to cover that. Also, we're going to look at a Caspa chart. We're going to take a look at the KRC20 tokens, which ones are in the lead and which ones are worth taking a look at. We're also going to look at the Caspa Key Initiative. A lot of exciting things have happened in the Caspa ecosystem. We know they went to token 2049. There's a lot of things happening. So dollar Caspa, it's 100% on the table. And let's get started and tell you why. Now, although Caspa is kind of taking its foot off the pedal just a little bit, as you can see here over the last seven days, Caspa has been down a little over 7%, holding strong at 16.43% over the last month. It is down 1.8%. But... This should be short-lived. We take a look at the Caspa chart here. This is on the daily. We can see here from the liquidity flow index, money is still flowing in. Although volume has decreased, Caspa currently bounced off twice now off its 618 FIB level on the daily chart. If we go to the four hour, an important thing happened. And let me take off this, take off this Fibonacci retracement. An important thing happened with Caspa here. So we had a crossover on the midline for our price sentiment, which is going to be your gray line down here, again, using the money flow index. Now, this is a custom index or a custom indicator created by us here at Sin City Crypto. Uh, but money flow has remained steady while price sentiment has crossed the midline. Typically, those have been great times to enter, especially if you're a swing or leverage trader. Um, and so, Caspa, the chart looks great. We are in a downtrending channel but these things do typically break to the upside. And when it does break, 22 cent is our first level. And we get some KRC20 tokens. Maybe Nacho token starts to rally. We get we know we're getting more listings on Caspa. We're also going to talk about an exchange that just listed Caspa uh, and how important that's been to their exchange and what that can mean for future exchanges looking to list the Caspa token. I do want to highlight this. This is from castmedia.com. Capital inflow and resilience, Caspa's response to the Federal Reserve rate cut. A lot of good, uh, a lot of good uh, metrics in here that I want to share with you. So, first one I want to share this paragraph on early signs of capital inflow. One key indicator uh, supporting the observation of a positive trend is the realized price 30-day change, which increased from four and a, uh, four and three quarters percent to just over 5.5%. The recent increase underscores new capital entering the market, indicating rejuvenated investor interest. Additionally, the net unrealized profit-loss ratio and the percent supply and profit both remain in bull neutral status, implying that the majority of participants are neither panicking nor exuberant, which is also a healthy sign of a new but cautious capital. Then we go to this section here, long-term holders versus short-term holders. Although reserve risk is at a low 1.8 percentile and continues to decline, indicating long-term holder confidence in retaining their positions, the slightly elevated Coins uh, Days Destroyed, also known as CDD, this one measures a 90-day, uh, suggests that some movement among older coins is occurring. My thought behind this would be, uh, I don't... It could be Marathon that mined back in last September and it's starting to sell off, sure. But I think the more likely answer to this question of, well, who is really selling the older coins? I think a lot of people were excited about getting smart contract functionality, about getting meme coins, about getting an ecosystem once Casplex launched the KRC20 token. So I think people dipped into their Caspa holdings and minted some tokens to be part of the economy to, or the ecosystem. Uh, and to be one of the first people to mint tokens on the Casper Network. So that is what I think is personally happening. Going back to this as well, while not overly significant, this uptick hints that a portion of long-term holders might be reassessing their positions. It also goes on to talk about the growth in market sentiment and stability, which we already talked about here, as we see on both the four-hour and the daily time frame, market sentiment is up. In the four hour, it's already crossed the midline and on the daily, it is moving towards that way. Now, I mentioned to you in the beginning of this video uh, how you can earn Caspa, right? 
earn a big APR with low risk, and that is through Pionex.us. Uh, they're partly a sponsor of today's video. And today, last week, when we talked about Pionex, talked about them listing the token. They're still doing their 100,000 Caspa token giveaway. All you got to do is use the link in the description of this video. We'll pin it to the comment section as well. And all you got to do is either buy or trade 350 Caspa, which is like $100. And so you get a shot at winning 100,000 Caspa tokens. But what I want to focus on today is their 11 trading bots. So a lot of trading bots, whether you're neutral in the market, you think it's going to go sideways, you can make money using the bot that way. Whether you're a bull and you think the prices are going up, there's strategies to make money that way. And if you just think the price of crypto is going to come crashing down, you can make money that way as well. All you got to do is go to trade, hit trading bot. And on the left here, and I'll zoom in so you guys can see a little better. Again, Different strategies. You click on these, you can see they have a Bitcoin moon bot, an Ethereum moon bot, a Bitcoin growth bot, depending on what you're looking to do. If you think the market is going sideways, they have grid trading, DCA bot via the Martingale strategy. And I'll go over that in a little more detail. If you're bullish, you have something called a rebalancing bot, which is very unique. You can either choose two coins or up to 10 coins that arbitrages the price of those tokens in relation to each other to grow your account and bring you more money. Or if you're bearish, which I don't know why you would be, uh, you have a reverse grid bot here as well. What's cool about this one also is they have a Caspa dedicated grid AI strategy bot. Uh, and so you can see here over the last seven days, this bot is up 28% over the last 30 days. Although Caspa's price is down 1.4%, you would have made 24%. So there is always ways to make money. You just got to find them. And Pionex is giving you lots of ways to make money, especially if you're a fan of Caspa. They have their Infinity Grid, which is up 21% over the last 30 days, and their AI Grid as well. Over the last six months, up 1.5%. But I mentioned what I want to focus on on the bot today, and there's 11 to choose from. I want to focus on the DCA bot, right? We're talking about DCA, set it and forget it. Now, this is using the classic Martingale strategy. This is pretty big in Vegas. What it means is, hey, look, you bet red or black. Let's just use roulette as a table red, or uh, as an example. You bet red or black. Let's say you bet red. You lose, you double your bet. You lose again, you double it again. You lose again, you double it again. Eventually, probability says it will hit the, the color that you're betting on. So it's the same idea with this DCA bot as long as the price does not go to zero and bounces up, which if you're a fan of Casper and you watch this video, I'm pretty sure you and I can agree Casper is not going to zero. It'll help you make money. So this is a Pionex Martingale bot. We'll buy unequal amounts of coins after every price drop with a fixed percentage. The first is to choose good coins. As long as this coin has the good liquidity, the price will not drop to zero in the long term. And the Martingale bot can help you make profits. Secondly, the timing to get started is also much easier. Most Pionex Martingale bots will make profits unless the price keeps going down without returns, which again... Don't believe that's going to happen in Caspa. Now, they did do a back testing of 15 months going back from April 1st of 2020 to July 1st of 2021. So this takes into account the big drawdown from the COVID crash. So according to the default AI parameters, the Martingale bot has reached 205% APR and a complete cycle of one and a half years with a total of 623 arbitrage times. Now, these are 623 trades that you would have had to manually make that you don't have to anymore by deploying a bot. So big shout out to Pionex for listing, Cas uh, for listing Caspa token and building some ecosystem around that. Uh, if you want to sign up, highly, highly recommended. I have an account. We believe you should as well. There's a link in the description. Use that as well. And I want to focus on, we know Caspa in the long term can get to a dollar, right? Everything is trending up. We have the crescendo hard fork coming up. But this is such a key this is such a key article that was put out by Key, right? The Caspa Industrial Initiative. And what they are doing, looking to bring the world of finance, the world of commodities, right? We're talking about trillion dollar asset classes into the Caspa ecosystem. Some things I've highlighted here. Uh, they did have their event. So this is kind of an overview of the announcements and what they spoke about. There is so much here that I'm not going to be able to cover all of it. Maybe we'll cover it in our next Caspa video. But the ones I feel like uh, should be highlighted are these. The Caspa in Enterprise event, which was held on the 24th of September, revealed a future that is possible through decentralized technology, one that can reshape entire industries from finance 
to energy, to insurance. The event was led by the CASPA Industrial Initiative, a platform that serves as a catalyst for enterprise adoption of decentralized technology. Continue to go down. Um, acting as a market facilitator, Key enables businesses to adopt CASPA's decentralized solutions seamlessly. It is focused on bridging CASPA's innovation with enterprise needs across a range of industries, including finance, logistics, energy, and carbon trading. To accelerate its global presence, Key has planned for rapid global expansion, relocating its foundation headquarters to the Netherlands and establishing satellite offices in key locations like Malta, UAE, Singapore, and Brazil, all technologically forward-looking countries and economies. Uh, this section here, Harnessing Stranded Energy, a Sustainable Use, of proof of work. One of the most powerful discussions at the event centered around how CASPA's proof of work can be used for good. Instead of viewing proof of work as an energy drain, CASPA has taken a different approach, turning stranded renewable energy into digital assets. Uh, this is partly reason why also Marathon decided to mine CASPA along with the other, th other reasons they had to start mining. Now CASPA and Enterprise, an annual platform for innovation. Uh, it was exciting to hear that CASPA and Enter Enterprise will not be a one-off event. So this is super exciting. They had one event, it was greatly successful, and they're going to do it every single year. Uh, and over a course of a longer period of time, this is going to bring so much utility and use case to the network. It's set to become a recurring annual conference, a place where the latest technological advancements in decentralized systems will be shared, discussed, and pushed forward. Within 24 hours of launching, uh, talking about the KRC20 token standard, the network processed more than 17 million transactions in 24 hours. Network did not go down, no degradation, although obviously transaction costs did go up a little bit. Um, and the issues it had was to rate third party wallet, not anything to do with the network itself. Now this 17 million transactions in a day was 10 times more than the daily volume of Ethereum. It is a staggering achievement that demonstrates the unmet scalability of Casper, and might I add, for a proof of work consensus blockchain. This is just absolutely unheard of. And this is just the beginning with the upcoming Crescendo hard fork. Casper's capacity is, to, is set to increase even further, allowing the network to handle up to a quarter billion transactions per day. That's billion with a B. This kind of scalability will unlock unprecedented opportunities for businesses to build smart contracts, launch tokenized assets, and create fractional ownership models, all powered by Caspa's technology. Again, there is so much more to go on here. I will drop this link in the description of this video. You should definitely go read it if you're a fan of Caspa. And I said we're going to take a look at the KRC20 tokens. Let's take a look. This is from KAS.FYI. There's a tab here. You can obviously go to the dashboard to see the network metrics, but you click here, KRC20 tokens on the very top, and you can see here which ones are leading the pack, what's the price doing, what percentage of it is minted, and you can see here still number one is Nacho. Now, when we looked at this on our live show, this thing was closer to a $90 million market cap. So, I mean, if you believe there's going to be a meme coin on Caspa to reach a billion-dollar market cap, I find it hard, and this is not a knock against any of the other uh, coins on this list, but Nacho, uh, the, the cat of uh, co-founder uh, Shai Wyborski, uh, this to me would be an easy play. Now, of course, meme coins, there's a lot of risk, but also the reward can be a lot higher as well. So you're looking at about a, what is that, a, a third, a 20, 25x from here for it to get to a uh, $1 billion market cap. If my math is off, let me know in the comments section. And it's got a great holder count of 16,600 holders already. And this thing has only been live for what? A week and a half, two weeks. So the ecosystem is starting to blossom. Caspa is continuing to do what it said it was going to do. And we're not even at full implementation of the true scalability of Caspa. This is why we believe Caspa to a dollar is already programmed. If you believe that Casper is going to dollar like I am in the very near future, drop a one in the comment section. Also, come check out our live show Monday through Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll see you next one. Peace.